no, you are... Welcome, fellow biological organisms and uh, sorcerer's apprentices. Oh, boy. Are you ready to get started? I think I'm ready to get started. Let's see. First, uh, well, I should point out, I'm going to try to get into a uh, expedition. Should be the Dark Temple uh, right away once we get into the game. But first, a little business. I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers on YouTube. We've got Nonsensical Jellyfish, Andrew Day, Seeker from Oz, Don Arnold, Oliver Karstark. Isn't that from Game of Thrones? I don't remember Oliver. Anyway, uh, Henry Tate, German Barillo. Is it Barillo or Barillo? I think. It's not a German pronunciation for Barillo. Bur I don't know. Anyway, Rita Chin, X Jag Z, Game, Game Sack One, Andrew Myers, and again, Ethan Cardona, who was uh, first mentioned on previous episode. So I think I don't have a lot of news. There's a. Uh, yeah, in the new week for the Battle Pass, or whatever you call it, has started on uh, Fallout 76. The new Battle Pass on World of Tanks, and I bought it. I know, I know. What's wrong with me? But, you know, stuff. And uh, I think that's about it. Mm. Yep. All right, let's get started. We're going back to continue for the YouTube. Perhaps I should point out that you too may subscribe on YouTube, as well as on Twitch, although there's a little small barrier there. You need a credit card for that. Other ways to help the show out, you can join Patreon, which I didn't realize wasn't working. Maybe that's why no one has joined in three years. But, you know, hopefully it's working now. If you do sign up for Patreon, even if it's for the dollar a month, let me know so I can give you the thanks you deserve. Because I hardly ever check that page. I'll probably check it a couple times this week, but and then I'll go right back into not checking it again when, when no one uses Anyway, uh, let's see. We've got our friends here. Let's go ahead and say goodbye to them or hello to them. And it looks like we're started over here. Let's get that paused. And down here. Big head, little head. Let's go for the little head. All right, I'm going to need some headphones so I can hear. I think everything's squared away. Oh, also, uh, if you're a fan of Kerbal Space Program, don't forget to check out King Akira 9001. I always got to remember the number. Uh, also on Twitch. Live shows, our live shows are on Twitch and archived on YouTube. Usually the next day. Last time it wasn't the next day because ah, I made a mistake and I wanted to edit in a little correction to help you all out. Find what you're looking for. Hmm. <clears throat> so, yes, yes. Um, on the last expedition, was it worth it? We got 20 reputation for four different factions, uh, like 800 gold, 900 gold, something like that. Two um, repentant beds. Whoa. So, yeah, these spiked beds. Um, I think there was something else. Oh, some mana. I think we got some nature mana and like nine and a half prestige so not outlandish rewards but you know something so and i don't believe you need the guinea pig to be available to visit the uh one of the start one of the expeditions now is there a strategy to this i would say that if you get an expedition right at the start of the game you probably don't want to go right away. You probably want to give your, give your school a chance to train up some students. <sighs> but I also don't know. I mean, you can leave the dungeon uh, pretty much any time. But I, I think you want 
your students to be trained up a little bit before you put them in there if you're really expecting to get anything out of it because you don't want to just run after the first encounter. Uh, let's get in here. Yes, this doesn't say what it is. See, this is something I wish they'd fix. I wish they it would say here what it is and here. Either one would be good, but uh, both would be better. So let's get in there. All right, so we have this set for total skill. Something I noticed after the stream last night, and this is just your standard settings that's on the main menu, is uh, this little help menu here. So based on what uh, schools of magic they're skilled in, they're going to have access to different spells and at different powers as well. Like, let's see, at the start of each battle, you have 10% times the beast magic level chance to paralyze all enemies in the same column for one turn and to reduce their strength by one. Mm, okay, that's kind of good. Now, I was thinking last time that sacred magic was uh, giving us a healing opportunity, but what it does is it it raises your student's armor by four. And I think it stacks each time he, uh, they cast it. If for healing, I think you want herbalism. The students in the same column recovers herbalism, health points at the start of each action. So whatever their level of herbalism is, that uh, that uh, heals the students in the same column. So I don't think there's a way to heal everyone. Let's see, magic ink, each counter, potions chance, random magic scroll. So create a random scroll to use in this dungeon. That's kind of interesting. Uh, I'd like to see how that works. Rune magic, uh, let's see, rune magic shield points at the start of combat. So it gives three times, what, so that's even more powerful than than the sacred magic, I think. We'll, we'll, we'll take another look at that. At the start of the combat does not remain from one battle to the next. And I noticed with the sacred magic that they maintained the shield uh, buff even after the battle, but once the next battle started, it went back to the, the base. Okay, mm she magic at the start of combat does not remain for the battle. Chance to create a scroll. Chance, chance to paralyze them for one turn. Damage to two random enemies, so that's pretty good. Chance to cancel all damage taken from monster attacks, but it's only 10% times their temporal magic level, so it's going to max out at 50%. Resource transfer, extra resources, mana and gold collected during encounters. The effect of your spells has a 10% times it's the, your assassination level chance to be doubled. Okay, and it's not quite clear how the spells work either. We'll look at that in a minute. After each action, you have 10% uh, times your demonology chance to allow the adjacent student to cast a spell, so extra spell casting. Spell Life Drain. Thought there was an airplane for a moment. Uh, damage the closest enemy and equal healing for self. That's pretty good. Some music. Okay, now looking at Sacred Magic again. Give Sacred Magic protection points to all group members can only be cast 10 times per battle. All right. Uh, retribution, chance to encounter, to counterattack automatically with a spell when attacked. Okay, armor reduces by their heroism level the damage taken from enemy attacks. So, it looks like the only way to heal is with herbalism, and it only heals students in the same column. Hmm. But it's kind of confusing, because it seems like they cast more than one spell per turn, and it's not... Well, let's just get some people in here. Um, what was one that uh, seemed extra good 
Let's see, necromancy. Uh, elementalism. And then demonology. No, 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 no. So we we went with our best assassin in our leadoff position on the last one. Um, all right, I think we want to go with necromancy, elemental uh, elementalism, assassination as our main attacks. Retaliation wouldn't be bad, but... And this insect swarm is kind of iffy. All right, so I'm going to start with well, I already forgot. Was it necromancy? Yeah, necromancy. My sniffles are much better. So necromancy our best necromance. Oh, he's got a lot of good skills. None in five, but we're going to put him in the leadoff position. And then what was the other one? Either assassination or... I already forgot. Assassination, necromancy, oh, elementalism. So I think I want to see what we can do here for elementalism. Um, only a four. And if we look at total skill, do we have it? This one has time travel at five. This one has portal magic at five. Mm, oh, and here's another one. But no one has elementalism at five. So maybe I need to focus more on my elementalism classroom. Mm hmm. So do we want this one to go in there? Probably. Oh no, because it's only two. But if we go three, then we come way down here, and yeah, that's the best one there. Um. Let's go ahead and put Rufus Roof over here. And I'm kind of curious. What is this little symbol right here? It doesn't say. This bottom, this bottom two don't have this. So I don't know what that is. All right, then I kind of want... Uh, what was it? Herbalism? Okay, oh, okay. Well, he's... Pretty good in herbalism. Wow. Only two, but got a lot of other good spells. So let's put her here. And it'd be nice if we had... Well, they also have sacred magic. Hmm. doesn't have a lot of other spells. If we go for total, then the next one with herbalism is way down here. Um, maybe we should avoid that. Let's just go ahead and put this one here. So this guy has got a lot of health, but he may not be getting healed. So that could be a problem. Now something else I've noticed here is you can select a spell. So magic bolt and protective ritual. Let's see. So I want this one to be using the protective ritual. And this one Wow. To be using, yeah, the necromancy. 
Wait, necromancy? Where's the... Herbalism isn't part of it, so I guess that's fine. So this is their main attack spell. Alright. Let's just see how this plays out. Start the adventure. Oh, also, I need to... I'm going to move my big fat head a little bit. All right. And we'll watch our uh, danger meter here. I think we only got it up to 22 on the last one. And then I got scared and ran away. Dark temple. This ancient temple houses a group of fanatics. Worshipping ancient, indescribable, and malevolent gods. We must prevent their perverted use of magic. Forward! Triggers a new encounter. Alright. Oh, okay. Well, what are these little things right here? I don't know. <clears throat> Mortuary chamber. The vast hall is silent and dark, and its alcoves hold graves marked with runic symbols. In the room's center is an altar with offerings. Let's get the offerings. They must not be very useful. They must not be very useful, so let's get them. That doesn't make sense. So we have combat with two specters, only level four. We draw the crypt card, so that's kind of good. Get a little bit of gold. I don't know what the brackets are here. So it's like, I suspect what it is, is we is the reward is supposed to be 400, and with modifiers that we have, probably from previously graduated students, uh, it gets bumped up to 520. There may be another, it may be that these students in particular have some kind of effect on that. Hmm. Wasn't there one? Maybe the magic, I don't know, I don't know, it's... <clears throat> if you can figure it out, leave a comment. Let's see. What else we got? Let's see what we can find in those graves. So then we combat more specters. We get the same amount of gold. We get a little bit of shadow mana. We draw the crypt card and the skull card. Uh, I don't really need the skull card. Okay, because I already uh, have the skull in place in my trophy room uh, in the teacher's area. Now, if we had had two righteous cloisters... And this is not level two Righteous Cloister. This is, two, I'm going to pillow in here, two actual classrooms that are Righteous Cloisters. And I, I've been thinking about it. And just like students will go home if they're hungry or tired and they can't access a refectory or a bed, um, students who want to go to a, a certain type of classroom but can't because it's already full, you can only fit so many students in there, um, will go either to a different classroom or goof off or who knows what they'll do. So we kind of also want to keep an eye on how full our classrooms are. So if we have a very popular class, then we can build a second room. All right, so we do not have two righteous cloisters. Uh, which would reduce the threat by five. Let's offer something so the occupants will appreciate us. Oops. Interesting translation from French. And then let's not touch anything. We wouldn't want to disturb their sleep. I think I'm going to go with this one because I don't really want the skull. That's very little shadow mana. And it's a easier fight. So here we go. Ah! And oh yeah, we gotta click start battle. May use your and we have the Phoenix feather down here. Revive a fallen student outside of combat. So it's it looks like it's a student, and I suspect that we can only use it once during the dungeon, and then I don't know if we actually lose it um, once we're out of the dungeon. Well, hopefully we won't find out. <laughs> Burn, baby, burn. Oh, my goodness. Made short work of them. These guys didn't even get to launch a spell. All right, should we keep going? Of course we should keep going. 
All right, another mortuary chamber. So we've got the same options, level six specters. Get them, boys. I'm impressed. And hoof sounds. The next hallway is extremely dark, and you hear the sound of hooves coming towards you fast. Is it a minotaur? Centaur? Pegasus? Let's proceed carefully so we can combat dark knights, and we get... Now, these are dungeon cards, gilded key and old key, so that, that sounds pretty good. Let's see if the group's total in heroism is at least five, which it's not? Okay. Uh, let's see. Get a dungeon. So we fight weaker knights? Yeah, we fight weaker knights. Oh, are they Batman? Dark Knight? Let's see. Or if we had beast magic of at least 12, then we could fight two level fours, get the keys, and draw the Pegasus card. Not a bad card. And uh, probably... <laughs> It's probably not just coconuts banging together. Let's turn around. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go with the first one. <laughs> Woof. Uh-oh. So I think he was at health 10. And... All right, health is back now. I can't keep track of all the spells that are going on. It'd be nice if there was, like, a log of what was happening. But it looks like we have our health back. We're in pretty good shape. All right. Forward. All right. A strange door. You find yourself before a large door. It appears changes. Its appearance changes depending on the angle you look at it. First, it's golden and majestic. Then it's covered in bones. And finally, it becomes old and rusted. Try the golden key. Draw the plane telescope. Was that the observatory or something else? It might be the armillary sphere. I don't know. Try the old key. Get the hourglass and spellbook. Don't really need those. Try to force it open. Uh, get dungeon card old key. Um, all right, so let's try the golden key. Oh... What happened? <laughs> I guess we... Oh, what is this? Finger of Death. Kill a monster before the start of combat. Boss excluded. It's a classic, but it works. Finger of Death. I'm trying to get it up here without the... The uh, tool tip. All right, forward. All right, let's take out the whole bunch. So we get three keys and we have a boss battle with a knight of darkness level five and beware dark knight's armor and could we steal a key so we don't have group total assassination at 11 we don't have the spellbook scroll of seduction nor do we have total necromancy of at least 12 all right so let's bottle this battle this boss <laughs> oh, look at all these keys. Um, oh, wow. 25 health. I think we can take him. Oof. Ouch. And we won. I wonder if this little ball down here. Sudden death. Maybe that counts the turns. Let's keep going forward. Unlucky adventurers, you find the lifeless bodies of four adventurers lying in the middle of the hall. It's hard to tell what happened to them, but it clearly involved a few sharp implements. Uh, there's nothing we can do. Let's move along. Increases the threat level. Or, it's sad, but their gold is useless now. So, <laughs> we... uh. Go through their pockets. All right, let's go forward. Dragon peatlands. The putrid smell that assaults you, assaults you is unmistakable. These are the peatlands where slimy marsh dragons are found. These are not 
slimy or marsh vultures. They are aggressive creatures with dangerous acidic breath. Be careful! Let's try not to attract too many. So that'll re so we get a small fight and reduce the th our threat up here by three. Or we can let's clean this place up. We can fight four dragons. Reputation with the peasants goes up 30 and we get five prestige. Um, I think we're already good with the peasants. So, and it's only five prestige. So let's go ahead and do this easier one. All right, dragons, say ya pues. Whoa, what was that? So, Wow. Yeah, this definitely needs some sort of play-by-play. -play. Okay, forward. Trap corridor. We do have two elves with us, so hopefully that'll get us out. Trap doors, poison darts, poisonous clouds. This corridor is filled with deadly traps. Moving through it will require great care. Let's see, we can retrace our steps and find another way. Our students are used to defusing traps. Our eagle-eyed elf should be able to guide the group through the traps. And then what's this last one? This is probably if you have two enchantment workshops. Yeah, which we don't. You can get another one. So uh, I think we're going to go with the elf. Yeah, we'll go with the elf. Forward. Roaming troll. A troll in the middle of the hallway. He seems a bit lost, but he focuses when he sees your student group and charges with a growl. So you kill him, which... I guess that's the tooltip. Reduces threat by one. Or capture him. Well, this is weird because this is not, the tooltip isn't lining up. Conditions the assassination of the group is at least 10. We don't have that. So that's moving the shadows to avoid him. Capture him. Let's see. If we have at least one weapon rack, and we have two weapon racks back in the school. And we so we gain reputation with the kingdom but we get boss battle with a venerable tro troll i don't know that we need 40 reputation so yeah let's just get the prestige points he's got a lot of health ooh that was a big hit Oh no, he's dead. I still had so much to do. All right, uh, let's play the Phoenix Feather. Do I have to do it this way? That's how you do it. And now it's gone. So we'll see if it's still available when we get to the next dungeon, if there is a next dungeon. Let's see, go forward. Yeah, let's go forward. So more dragons. Let's see, try not to attract and reduce the threat level. Mm, yeah. These don't look any tougher than the previous dragons. They do, they can take a hit though. Nice. Keep going. Arcane mirror. In the center of the room stands a tall mirror. This item is truly marvelous. It reminds me of a two-book series by Stephen R. Donaldson, A Man Rides Through. A lot of mirror magic in that. Let's see. You can feel the arcane energy flowing through it. Given enough time, we could drain its magical essence, although it runs a risk of attracting all sorts of dangerous creatures that can sense changes in the arcane canvas. So let's go. We need that mana, in which case we get 300 arcane mana. We have to combat three bad guys. Too risky. Let's keep moving. I can't tell. I guess that doesn't do anything. And then we should be able to extract this mana very efficiently. So we get the same amount of mana, a little bit more mana, and fight the same level. Okay, so higher magic spellbook. 
I don't know what high. Maybe oh, maybe that's uh, one of the spell books in the um, headmaster's office. Now, if we had a reliquary, we would have the option to get light mana instead of arcane mana. All right, let's see what happens. Oh. I think we got him. We got him. Should we go a little bit deeper here? The Endangered Musician. A bard is under attack from a group of goblins and struggling to defend himself with his mandolin. He screams for help as he sees you. We must help him. Got a big fight and we'll immediately trigger a new encounter without the possibility of running away. Maybe we'll have to fight the bard? Let's ignore him and we lose some prestige points. Yeah, let's... Oh, mm. Mm. wow, one hit that one guy, woof. That looked a little easy. Okay, the bard is quick to thank you. He explains how he ventured into this place looking for the astral piano. Yes, the astral piano. An ancient relic from a forgotten civilization. Wait. Then how do we know about it if it's forgotten? Or maybe we know about the piano, but we've forgotten. It came from this civilization. We can't really remember anything about it. Actually, he would love some help. As the relic is guarded by a dragon and some goblins. <laughs> of course we'll help. Let's see. So. All right. So adventurers. Get, yeah, let's let's see what we get here. The Great Battle for the Astral Piano. The dragon is here, asleep on what seems to be the Astral Piano. Two goblins are polishing its scales while it sleeps. Let's get that piano! So, Ancient Dragon Level 2, that's probably pretty tough. Uh, I think I'm going to lose a student here. Let's see, if we have, the, we have one student that has the Half-Orc trait... Okay, in which case we battle just the dragon and not the goblins. Uh, this dragon is from a species particularly weak against temporal stasis. So the group has a total in temporal magic of at least four. And the spellbook Draconic Legends. Oh. Well, that seems like the easy way to do it. Should we have fought the, the dragon instead? Wow, that was super easy. Thankful Bard. The Bard thanks you enthusiastically. Okay, he might struggle to get the piano out of the dungeon, but he'll manage somehow. In the meantime, he would like to thank you and offers you his version of a magical chant as a reward. Let's see, a chant of protection might be useful. A chant of stealth would be great. What does that do? Reduce threat by one. And we draw the card Ancient Harp. Interesting. Ancient Harp. Um, a Chant of Wisdom would help a lot. So with that, we get the Harp. And then 200 mana across three schools. And get a Dungeon card Healing. Healing, Healing, Bark Skin, Bark Skin. And Phoenix Fe Okay, that seems like the way to go. Get another Phoenix Feather. Yeah, that's the way to go. All right, so Bark Skin gives a student who two armor points at the beginning of combat and for its whole duration. All right, so we need to hold on to that until the next combat. And then healing restores a student's entire health. Unfortunately, it won't reattach a decapitated head. Hmm, grizzly. All right, let's go forward. Life. Fountain. A large empty room houses a gorgeous fountain covered in plants and flowers. The vital essence flowing through its through it is tangible. Take a bit of energy so we get some nature mana. Alright, seems easy enough. And, or we can get three healing cards. Or its water will be perfect to raise arcane fish. 
Oh man, I would like to have the arcane, the uh, aquarium card, but I think I'm gonna go with the healing. All right, let's keep going. Danger's up to 21 now. More peatland dragons. Let's see, let's try not to attract too many. Reduces the threat and fight two dragons. Or let's clean this place up. We get prestige points. Uh, I think we're just going to go with the easier one. Un more unlucky adventures, so we'll let's go through their pockets. And go forward. We're up to 24. Is it danger? Yeah, danger meter. Archmage's box. You find a small golden box decorated with gems and cl and clearly enchanted. All right, it's a little awkward. It must be filled with magical tools. Let's open it, in which case we get some arcane mana. We lose a gilded key. We draw another phoenix feather. Nice. And the dungeon card petrify. That sounds pretty good. Dang, we don't have the right key. Oh, well, what, what, but we do have the right key. So, yeah, whatever. And if we had had a group with enchantment over 12, we get pretty much the same thing. But we don't lose the key. Or if we had the Book of Wisdom, the total enchantment of at least 12. Same thing, but threat increases. Or maybe we get a little more arcane mana. Nope. Same. So, uh, that didn't make sense to me. Alright, what now? Should we keep going? Still at 24. Dark temple. Darkness seems to be thriving inside this temple, dedicated to the most sinister and malevolent gods of this world. Say so there's nothing more dangerous than a lich. At its center, a lich and its servants seem to be awaiting your valiant students. Take the temple's riches! That's a pretty big fight. Let's see, so... We get 1080 gold. And fight two cultists and a lich. It's not a boss, is it? It's not a boss. Uh, let's see. Draw the crypt card and draw the shadow room card. That sounds useful. Maybe a little more useful than a thousand gold. Let's see, burn this impious place. So we get Inquisition reputation. And I can't remember. I think we're pretty close to 100 on all of the... I'm probably wrong about that. All the factions. Don't worry. They'll let us through. Because our reputation with the Lord of Evil is above 90. So, um, so we can either go for the gold, in my opinion. We could go for the gold or we could uh, go for the cards. I think I'm going to go for the cards. Mm. All right, let's start, and I'm going to pause immediately. I'm going to put bark skin. Can I not put bark skin on this guy? Hmm. I don't know how that helps. Maybe it had to be before. Let's try. Can we try finger of death on this guy? Nope. Oh, there's a log. I didn't notice that before. So I can't use any of these cards. Uh, maybe you have to use them. I... Um, yeah. Uh, he said he found something. Okay, what does the log tell us? The log tells us that there is a dark rectangle where there wasn't one before. Maybe you have to have it active during the fight. Right, should we keep going? Um... Yeah, can I use this healing on him? There we go. All right, let's go forward. The Wandering Architect, a heavily armed dwarf warrior, hails you. As she twirls her large sword, she explains how she has been studying the architecture around here in hopes of becoming a master builder, but <laughs> needs some protection while she takes notes. Killing goblins is quite distracting. Uh, why not? Yes, we'll protect you. We don't know how many goblins, but uh, let's go. Can I put this on him now? 
So that increased his armor by two, maybe? Um, I don't know. Let's see, ribbed vaults. The Dwarven warrior is taken with excitement as she looks at the roof to discover, I think they mean ceiling, to discover its gigantic ribbed vaults, which are apparently fascinating. It's up to you to get rid of the two trolls that live here. Arm your spells. So, wow, this might be a big fight. Or run, forget the dwarf. And if we had tin and elementalism, which I guess we don't quite, we could get a little bit of mana. Um, and the fight wouldn't be quite as difficult. All right, let's... There we go. Um, he's got that. Can I petrify one? I could petrify one. All right, let's just see what happens. Maybe if I click start battle. I think we're in good shape. And he's healed again. And troll down, troll down. Nice. I guess we can just leave that up. Let's see. You are barely finished with the trolls when the dwarf has wanders. What? You are barely finished with the trolls when the dwarf has wanders. I think they mean wandered. Away to admire a flying buttress, which, according to her, is from an ancient gnomish civilization. This is all well and good, except for the nearby group of creatures who don't seem to give a flying buttress about architecture. All right, we've got another fight. Ooh, wow. Um, put another bark skin on here. Demon Goblin Warg. Or run for it! <laughs> or if we had a total of ten in ruins... Let's raise a runic wall until the dwarf is done studying. That's an idea. Yeah. Uh, anything else we want to do? Let's go ahead and fight. Can we petrify the demon? I think I'm going to do it. Oh, it petrifies all of them. So that should give us a free turn. Like we're still in pretty good shape. He did not hit that hard. I think he just took his armor off. Hopefully this one will cast armor. Yep. Okay, got that. Ooh, he's in trouble. Can I do a healing? Nope. Oh, he survived. That was a little close. A giant leap forward for architecture. The door finishes her scribbling and thanks you profusely. She hints that what she has learned, or what she learned here, represents a major leap forward in architecture. She would like to reward you. All right. Actually, our school is in need of renovations, in which case we get... Wow. So we get five rooms. Two student rooms, two dormitories, and a refectory. Increases the threat by five. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's see. Perfect. Could you make our school look better? So five gazebo or four gazebo cards and an eternity vase. Eternity vase, I think, increases the chance of you getting elves uh, when you recruit students. Let's see. Could you help build an alchemy wing for our school? So we get... Uh, all right, four uh, uh, alchemy classrooms. Or help us extend the library, and we're even. So we get four library cards. That's a little tempting as well. Hmm. I'm going to get this one, though, so we can upgrade our dormitories, student halls, and maybe add another refractory or upgrade one. All right, what now? Should we go for it? We're up to 33. I'm going to heal this guy. Oh. All right, forward. Stone circle. 
This area is completely overgrown. A crude stone circle stands in the center of the room, and in the middle of the circle shines a small green emerald. Let's get that emerald. Let's see. Okay, or let's see. Our druids should take time to inspect the monoliths. That seems good. That seems wise. Or let's head back. I don't like these stones. So let's let the druids take over. Monolithic troll. Yep. The druids are adamant. These monoliths are sleeping trolls. Large trolls. Large trolls with very rocky features. So if we attack them, two level 30 trolls, we get a lot of nature mana. Or we can, oh, we can learn a lot from these venerable trolls. Draw a nature room, nature room, nature room, and Sylvan King's Horns. That's tempting. No fight and we get a reward versus, uh, yeah, let's take the easy way here. All right, what now? Forward, of course. Well, not really, of course. We need to get out of here eventually. Let's see. A group of wargs is sharing the remains of a reckless adventurer. Thankfully, they haven't seen you. Run! Be brave. Run away! <laughs> Run away. Brave Sir Robin. He bravely ran away. Let's see. Let's attack and give this unfortunate soul a proper burial, which gets us uh, combat with three wargs. Five prestige and reputation with the Adventurer's Guild in the Kingdom. It's kind of a small reward for a big risk. Let's see. Or let's attack and use the Phoenix Feather to save the Adventurer. Do I have I have two Phoenix Feathers, so that's tempting. So we get a weapons rack and a wolf's tooth, which allows students to move faster, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. Did I mention... Yeah, let's go for this one. And I'm going to put Bark Skin on him again. And start the battle! Whoa, that word turned into a specter? Oh, he's dead. What is going on there? Two dead. Wow, these guys are tough. Can I... And I can't use any of these? I've got three dead students. Oh, they were good students too. I can't heal. I could use the Phoenix Feather. I don't know how much good it would do though. I don't know if I can use... I can't use the Phoenix Feather. Whew. I think she's going to die, too. Should have bravely ran away. All right, her armor is just about gone. And her health is... Oh, that's sad. And now that they're all dead, I don't think we can use the... Uh... The Phoenix Feather card. Well, they didn't die completely in vain. Right, weapons rack. Still, those are four good students. I guess we should have ran. Should have run. Uh, let's see, the assassination chamber is somewhere, somewhere, all right, we already have a weapons rack here, and then the truth room is here, there's already a weapon rack there, uh, what does that do again? Improve their assassination and retribution skills, so if the assassination room is here, and the retribution room is here. It'd be really nice if there was a trophy room here, right? Hmm. Uh, I could put it in here. It doesn't like it. I don't like you either. All right. Silver King's horn. So this is uh, students don't get tired as fast. Nature room, 
Is nature on the first floor? No, that's in alchemy. Is this the nature room? Yes, so let's... And, well, we have two options. We can build a second nature room or we can upgrade this one. Mm. Yeah, we could put one here. Let's upgrade this one and then let's put two right here. Appropriate versus excellent, clumsy and slow, round belly and voracious. Mm. Hawkeye and job lover. Whoa, what was that? Dracon84 has subscribed on YouTube, which, but we're on Twitch right now. How did that work? Well, if you're here, thank you. If not, we'll say thanks uh, in the next video. Uh, let's see. Fun and athletic. So those are good. Hawkeye and Job Lover. Uh, uh, I'm tempted to take this guy just because of, of the fun. And he, he's going to spend more time in class. Hmm. Yeah, I'm actually going to go with this one with appropriate, even though he doesn't have the, the learning bonus. But I think he'll get the learning bonus uh, after visiting the Bright Staff Refectory a few times. All right, what else we got? Student Hall. So that's this room. And we don't want to put one here. We can put one up here. Maybe right here. Well, I can't put it here, but I can put it here. Hmm, I wonder why I can't put it here. What about, and I can't put it up there. And I don't want to put it here. Um... Wouldn't be the worst thing to put it here. Maybe I should have put this this one up here. I don't know. All right, let's go here and double it up. And then, oh, there's a shadow room. That's this one, right? Yeah. What does this ancient harp do? Active students in this room can no longer suffer from aberrations and misbehave less for a long time. So that would be pretty good in a dormitory. Uh, it would also be good... Actually, it would be kind of good in this trophy room. Hey, ah, baby. Oh, that's not a trophy room. That's a trophy room. But, yeah, so maybe a regular dormitory would be better. There's a private room. We've got another dormitory here. Can't put it there, but we can put it here in this refectory. Hmm. Yeah, that's a tough one. I'm going to do that. And then what's this plane telescope? Active students in this room have a chance of extending their studies by one year. Ooh. And that also goes in like a trophy item. So this wouldn't be such a bad place to put it. This wouldn't be such a bl bad place to put it. Yeah, I'm going to go up here. What I'm thinking is that if a student is in one of these libraries and wants to get some sleep, they're already advanced enough that they're studying the library, and then they can extend them their studies another year, maybe? I don't know. Crypt is over here. Let's upgrade. Wow, that's already pretty high. Should we consider building another crypt? Could put one right here. 
comes right down to it. Or we could put it up here. Hmm. Doesn't seem like it's that popular though, so let's go ahead and just lean into this one. All right, refectory. Here's a refectory. Let's upgrade that. This one already has shortcuts for reputation with the peasants. And okay, two dormitory cards. This one is. Hmm. So this one is at zero. This one is at one. Let's upgrade each one one time. Okay. And then, I guess it's back to business as usual. We already have one of these. We can upgrade the gazebo. We already have one of these. Small chance of getting passionate. Uh, so let's upgrade the gazebo. What else do I got? Another magic hat. Um, don't think we need it that much. We can upgrade a counselor's office. Shadow, demonic chamber, black. We, we have two black dragons? All right, do upgrade the demonic chamber. And all right, that's got all of that. Teacher's lounge, arcane room, or light room. I'm going to get the teacher's lounge. And we can put it directly above or below the trophy room. Mm, let's go with above oh that doesn't connect on the right side interesting not that interesting but you know kind of interesting all right and let's draw one more another dormitory village banner which is cat we'll get that witch's cat, although I don't know if I have room for another pet. Oh yeah, sure I do. I can put one right there. Put one right there. I think we'll put it down here. And let's get the t clock moving. Whew. We've been at this an hour and just now starting the clock. What is missing over here? Blade, that's right. We need to improve assassination, herbalism, and retribution. Because we don't know what level the students have to be in each of those classes in order to be, be eligible to become a Blade Master. All right, new students. I, wow, I kind of forgot how this works. I think... These two are exactly the same. Worker and popular. Popular and worker. Yeah, so. Um, yeah. The main thing we're making sure is that we don't have any who are chatty. Because they make other students slower. This one has Arcane Scholar. So we're going to go ahead and put him up here. Okay. Okay. This one's chatty. Oh, look at all these great, but they're chatty. Oh, I hate to do that. Arcane Scholar. Repentant Chamber of Truth. All right, so retribution is one of our things we need to improve here. So we'll get that if I can find the classroom. Yep. And we'll let that gold build up a little bit. 
Oh, sign that. Wow. We already have three signed of the eldest, so it's not going to do any good to get another one. Hourglass? I don't think it's going to do us any good. And Royal Banner? Also not going to do us much good. Yikes. I already have the Hourglass. I'm not sure where I might want to put that. In the janitor's room? Um... Maybe up here in this trophy room? No. I could put it in the library. Gotta put it somewhere. You can spend that gold. Shadow room. And again, it's assassination, herbalism, and retribution. We could try a new house. I think we're just gonna upgrade the light room. Although, shadow. Shadow Room, Light Room. So Retribution would benefit from Light Room. Assassination would benefit from Shadow Room. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the Light Room. Upgrade that. And, and mm, that won't matter for any of those. Infirmary upgrade, Runic Scriptorum. Potion, let's get the Runic Scriptorum. Since it's a little further... Oh, this is the first floor. Or ground floor, I should say. Alright, so we've got two levels here. Illuminations. Students have a small chance of gaining the diligent trait. Methodical. Lawful students learn 30% faster. Or runic trading. Students generate some gold while working. That'd be kind of nice, but I think I'm going to go with this one. Hmm. And Lord of Evil is already up to about 65%. All right, this guy is back. Yeah, we're 100% with almost everyone. Let's uh, upgrade with the orcs, if we can. Let's see. Ah, oh, humans, what do you want? The orcs are all moving about. Bone decorations are found everywhere, and the mood is decidedly festive. It seems the orcs are preparing a party to do their customs. Uh, I come to remind the clans that we are allies, in case uh, you were to forget. So we can get 10 rep out of that. Let's see. I've heard your shamans are quite gifted. Could they help our university? So we lose a little reputation and gain only 100 mana. Not worth it. Let's see. Clan orcs gather against the forces of evil. Together we can win! Uh, so we lose 40 reputation with the orcs, and we... Push the Lord of Evil back 3%. Wow, party time. Let's stay a bit longer so we get plus 20 with those. That, that's clearly the one we're going with. Um, oh, we don't have cheese and alcohol on hand. That would have been sweet. We have alcohol, but no cheese. All right, so where are we now with them? 89, so we get the benefit reduces cost of all cards by 5%. Hmm. All right. Demonic, uh, let's see here. So it's assassination. So we will definitely upgrade the assassination arena. Ooh, yeah. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get some new deep folk in here. This one's chatty. Way to start things off. Shattered Disciple. So here, another chatty one. Okay, here we go. Oh, parents are back. New house, alchemy room. Seems like we're going to get the alchemy room. Um, it's down here, yep. I think we can see what they want. Let's see. Did you know the neighboring school gives scholarships to the best students? What about you? Uh, so we are going to... The kingdom takes care of students who need help. So we draw a house and new student card. So that could be good. Let's see. We have scholars. So we get werewolves. And, of course, so this is just new students. Um, so let's get this. Our, there's a, I'm a little bit worried about the school being overcrowded. 
a little bit worried. Chatty. And that one was a deep one as well. Let's see. Here we go. There's another chatty. Another chatty. Righteous medical bed. That's probably not too bad. Righteous cloister would be kind of good as well. I think the righteous cloister is a little more important at this point. And devotion professor needs increase at a slower rate. We'll go ahead and accept that and get these new students. And another chatty one. What's up with the chatty? Mm -hmm. Nature mana, green bed, or stable. That's a tough one. Um, I think I'm going to get the stable. The question is, where will I put it? I have a stable on this level and on this level. I could put one on this level, maybe on this level, probably on this level. How far out can I put it? Only this far? Yeah, because it has to connect to something. Or I could put it there. Yeah, let's drop that there. Excellent versus good. This one's greedy and demanding, so they're very expensive. Round belly, hypochondriac, front erudite. Um, breakable puncture. Uh, let's go with this guy. Between what crystal ball active teachers in this room have a chance of getting rid of a negative trait. All right, let's. Mm. This one's tempting. If I didn't already, if I hadn't already used up the slots on that trophy room, that would be good. But I think I'm going to get this one and come down here. I already have the crystal ball in this room, but if I can put it in one of these three rooms, that would have almost the same effect. Let's go here. Potion work file for the, our infirmary. Level 3 isn't that high. It's going to be down here. Applied work. Um, yeah, let's just leave that where it is for now. Refectory upgrade or private apartments? Okay, yeah, let's. No, let's go with the light room. The private apartments was tempting. But we're going with the light room. New students. Pig chamber or greenhouse? Do we need herbalism? We do need herbalism. So we definitely need to get that herbalism going. Temporal room. Elementalist dojo. Interdimensional room. Hmm. Should probably do the interdimensional room. Although elementalism is was really powerful in that dungeon crawl, so let's do that. Crypt, Janitor Lodge, or Assassin's Arena. Let's do these. Wait. Double check. Assassination. Yep. Guinea pigs ready. I'm not sure who to visit, though. I guess we could start asking the king to push back on the Lord of Evil. There we go. So reputation with the kingdom goes down 15. Lord of Evil strength goes down 3%. So watch this guide, this uh, gauge up here as I click this button. And nice. Oh, we just got another temporal room. Reliquary, if we had had one of those, for that dungeon, it'd be nice, but the problem is our 
shadow rooms and light rooms are too close together. So students uh, will learn light magic 50% faster, but shadow magic 50% sl more slowly. Eh, not great. We also need to upgrade our Chamber of Truth as pretty much as much as we can. Let's get this out of the way. Yep. And Chamber of Truth. Summertime, bugs are coming in. Guild Banner Library, Component Supply. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the library. And then we need to burn some of these components. And let's get comic book in there as well. So... Look in the key. Okay, assassination, herbalism, and retribution. So, I think herbalism is where we're farthest behind. That's level three. Assassination. Uh, it's like level five. Yeah, whatever. But it's kind of level three. And then what was the other one? Retribution. Mm, there it is. Not doing too bad there. So, if we can do herbalism let's do that so that would be sylvan elixir root alcohol hat root alcohol hat which is the hat is a mushroom cap and I think we can make another one of those Oh, great. Now we have the cheese. All right, so what can we get? Ivy. Ivy's pretty good for a, uh, a trophy room. Clan Banner Stable wouldn't be bad either. The room housing the Ivy and all adjacent rooms become more efficient. Activities go by faster. So if we put that... Oh, I can't put it up there. Like Maybe I can put it in one of these libraries. I can put it in this library. And no, we don't want to spend all that gold. Fix my posture here. All right, we've got some graduates. Oh, we could do better than that, can't we? Yeah, that's better. Adventurer, wow, really? Circus Handler, 16% chance, and a 1% chance of dead. Let's see what we get here. Shepherd, yay! Demon Hunter. Inquisition Blacksmith is worth two prestige. And notice he's got the sign of the eldest here, so that's going to help in our push the Lord of Evil's progress back. Altar Child, Adventurer, Priest, but so... That or Wizard's Apprentice are the only two that have prestige there. Youth Potion Seller? Mm. And, let's see, Philosopher's Stone and a random card for Youth Potion Seller. We might accept that. Let's go ahead and accept it. Adventurer, Librarian, Time Traveler. Let's see if we can do better. Minstrel, so we get five prestige. But it would have been better if that was a deep one, but, you know, that's fine. We'll accept the Circus Handler. Inquisition Blacksmith, 44% chance. Um, what do we got here? The student's talents are almost all in retribution. Let's try for... Wow. If it's not Inquisition Blacksmith, it's... Well, it could be Alter Child. Probably going to not get prestige. Inquisition Blacksmith. So we receive one random card among the following. Reliquary, Weapons Rack, Mysterious Blueprints, Weapons, and Shields, or a Trophy Case. Librarian, Demon Hunter would probably be a little better, but that's fine. We'll accept Smuggler. And man, we've got a lot of mana here. Greenhouse, we definitely want to upgrade that. Ah, oh wow, we got two Reliquaries. 
Let's do this bottled glory and this philosopher's stone and this sacred elixir and this philosopher's stone. And do I want to put a reliquary? I kind of don't. But I think I'll put it here in this light room if I can. Um... I may regret this. Next, uh, some alchemy, infirmary, or potion workshop, or blue dragon. Let's get the... Let's get the blue dragon, and we can... Where is... Is there a spot down here we can put him? Yeah, we can put him right here. But if we do that, we won't be able to put a man of war snake on this level. Let's throw him in here. Elementalist Dojo, is that what we need? We need Assassination Herbalism and... Alright, so I'm going to upgrade the Elementalist Dojo again. Because students with that are more effective in a dungeon. I'm thinking the danger level was only like 26 and we had pretty good students. How good would your students have to be? to uh, get much further than that. Alright, Shadow Mana. Uh, yeah, definitely the Assassin's Arena. And let's spend this gold. Private Apartment, Teacher Lounge, Arcane Room. Um... I'm going to go with the Arcane Room. Yeah, it's a tough call. Sometimes. All right, new students. And Solstice Ball. The Solstice Ball is around the corner. This is a good opportunity for get war. What are you preparing? So we can uh, large stone circle and dance, all clothed. <laughs> Yet I don't want to dance naked so we can get a Dolmen card. It wouldn't be too bad. Here's some money to set up the ball. We get a refectory. Not bad. Huge feast. Uh, cheese and alcohol. We have no money, so we lose prestige. I am tempted to go with the dolmen. All right, so let's upgrade that. And that puts us at... Oh, we can get the house leprechaun now. Light mana. Trophy case. Active students in this room have a small chance to gain the ambitious trait, which gives them better chances after school. Um, we already have the heroic statue in here, I think. Well, it shows that we have one anyway. So let's get the trophy case, and can we throw it in here? Yeah, I'll put it in this trophy room. Um, counselor's office, temporal room, elementalist, obviously element, no, wait, not obviously, but yeah, we're, that is what we're going to go with. Demonic chamber or crypt. All right, let's get the demonic chamber. And I think from this point on, I want to try to get the, keep our gold above 2,000, probably above 3,000, uh, because there will come a point when the Adventurer's Guild will offer to push the Lord of Evil back 12% if we can pay them two or 5,000. We have enough reputation with them, they'll take 2,000. I'm not sure who to visit with the guinea pig, though. All right, here we go. Who should we visit? Um, if we go to the Lord of Evil, we can get some vampires. If we go to the Royal Bastion, he's back up to 96%. We can have him push the Lord of Evil back again. I should have had you watch up here. All right, and let's keep going. I was hoping we'd get another 
offer to go to a dungeon. They've got a little, a little uh, laying out in the sun with their uh, robes on. What's going on over here? Thought I saw some activity. Not much. All right. The student, what's her name, is back. We're bored. We don't know what to do. There's nothing fun to do in the student hall. Students hall. All right. I'll give you some applied alchemy work. Make me some alcohol. Draw the alembic card. Oh, that's good. Uh, let's see. Find a critter to keep you busy. Choose one card out of three. That that one's a maybe. I'll put together a nature trip with the Adventurers Guild, Magic Work Group, and yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll revise your lessons then, so everything... Wait, what? So we lose a bunch of mana? Why would you choose that? I guess if you don't qualify for these other ones. Yeah, let's see what kind of critter we can get. I was hoping for a mana or cat. Um... Lose a lot of boredom, fun. I'm thinking... So the cat reduces all the needs of the characters, and then the fawn greatly decreases the growth rate of tiredness, hunger, and boredom of, oh, of nearby teachers. I thought this was everyone I thought this applied to students. So this, the witch's cat is definitely better than the fawn. Right, let's put the cat up here. It's out of the bag now. Hmm. So they have herbalism and sacred magic. They're now unaffected by boredom. Mm, I'm tempted to get the Hero's Chapel, but let's go ahead and uh, upgrade this Flower Crown. Goonie Pig improves the chances of achieving a rare encounter when sending carrier guinea pigs. Guild Banner, Library. Uh, we already have one of these, so I don't know what the benefit of having two would be, if it stacks or not. And there's no way to check that I know of. Let's upgrade this one. Upgrade that library. Temporal room, counselor's office, interdimensional room. Let's go with the interdimensional room. And, yeah, let's hold on to some of that gold for now. Prison, waffle, demonic chamber. Let's get the demonic chamber. And we've got some new students we can hire. Potion room or library? I'm thinking, I'm thinking library. Upgrade that library. Psy crystal, gazebo, arcane amulet. Okay, so that's already maxed out. And I don't really have a place for the psy crystal. Let's see. In the dolmen, oh, 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 in the assassination chamber? Nope, how about the herbalism? Nope, and not the retribution chamber either. Where is that? That's um, right here? No, that's demonology, no, that's shadow. So where's the, oh, here's the retribution chamber. All right, so none of those. <sighs> Less I. Um. And then the trophy room is not so hot either. I think I'll just hold on to it in case I can get another trophy room. Green dragon, another dolmen, pig chamber. Um, yeah, that's green dragon. So there's only one spot left there. Hmm. They're going to put them all the way up here. Even though the, well, actually, most of the, yeah, most of them are on this level. So that's fine. New students. OK, 
Guinea pig's ready again. Who should we visit? The Royal Bastion is down to 92. Yeah, let's push back the Lord of Evil again. All right, we're coming up on 3,000 gold. Bright Staff Refectory. White Dragon? I don't have a White Dragon? <sighs> I'm going to upgrade the Hero's Chapel. King Staff is basically already maxed out. Don't need that, so let's upgrade a counselor's office. New students. Boom, boom, boom. Light room or dormitory or magic armor characters lose half as much health for a few minutes. So let's go with light room. And let's, I wonder what she wants. Do I have any alcohol? I don't. So she's probably going to want me to buy a uh, coffee maker. But let's see. We need new tools. The ones we are using are old and used up. We cannot keep going like this. I negotiated with the Inquisition to get some books they intended to burn. So we can draw a library card. Let's see, managed to get a royal grant, so that's money. Here are some new manuals. Take care of them this time. Spell book card. And then make do with what you've got. So I guess we'll get a library card. And come up here and... Oh, it's that kind of library. It's it's the bookshelf library. It's not the room. Um, So I think I'll probably hold on to that as well. I could put it in here. Now what does it do again? The room housing this artifact is 35% more efficient. So yeah, let's go ahead and put that in here in the teacher's trophy room potion workshop enchantment workshop enchantments a little farther behind let's upgrade that arcana we can upgrade the gazebo we can't upgrade the mystical birds unfortunately what characters in this room have the sanity recover sanity and improve their elementalism but the room gets dirty faster it's a little bit tempting. All right, Arcane Amulet. When a student is at least level one in Elementalism. So this one's already maxed out. So we can either upgrade the gazebo or build a new one. Could even build it right here, I think. Mm. Tempted to just upgrade the one we have. That's a possibility. Put it here. Well, not, I don't particularly love that, but it would work. Yeah, let's do that. All right, Shadow Mana, Necro Staff. It's already maxed out because we have that one bonus. Ritual components. Active teachers in this room have a chance of creating component cards. Do I care? Uh, all right, let's. Oops. So I can put it in here. All right, just cloister. Another trophy room, Chamber of Truth. We've got to have the Chamber of Truth. Trophy room, very tempting. All right, just cloister. Not too, uh, not too bad. Let's see, greenhouse. Got to have the greenhouse. Yeah, maybe what I should do is just just build the classes that uh, that would be funny if you had a school that was only assassination herbalism and retribution <laughs> I don't think that would work too well this next class is going to be 783 ah magical theory doctorate who should we put that on uh, herbalism right
and then if we get another couple of those, then assassination and retribution would be appropriate. Guinea pig's back. Oh, we've got another trophy room, sacred halo. Um, where would I put the next trophy room? I'm not even sure. I guess I could put it here. Uh, I can't put it by the greenhouse, unfortunately, and I can't put it by the retribution room. And what was the other one? Assassination. I can't put it by the assassination chamber. So, I think I'm just going to get the halo. Even though I got this psi crystal thinking that I would get another trophy room to put it in. All right, Scholar, War Leader, Master Assassin. Let's try for War Leader. Yay, we got it. 14 levels. Yeah, Half Orc and 14 levels. Carnivorous Plant Gardener. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and accept that. In order to get that, two Druidism and two Assassination. Weird combination. Cultist, Vigilante, Scholar. Let's see if we can do better than Assassin. Cultist, four level, 14 levels and Deep Folk. Imp, Scholar. Let's go ahead and accept that. Squire, Bodyguard, Mage. We've got a chance to get that. What kind of uh, file do they have here? So they have five in Assassination. That makes you a good bodyguard, does it? And they're a minion, Potion Master. We'll accept that. Scholar, we will accept that. Cartographer, could go for Pack Leader. Mm, not great. Let's just go ahead and accept that. Another Cultist, we'll accept that. Angel, well, let's see if we can get Angel. We did not get Angel. Sarcassander Arcane Sculptor. Didn't get that either. Librarian, Portal Master, Time Traveler. None of these are... Oh, Minstrel. They've got a 9% chance of Minstrel. So, let's see. They could also be dead, which would be negative one. So, hopefully, we can get Minstrel since they're a deep folk. And that would, like, be a big pushback. Oh, what did I do? I clicked accept when I meant to hit re-roll. Oh, massive buffoonery. All right, let's see if we can re-roll this ghoul, librarian, master assassin, so we can get two prestige out of it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and accept that. There's a man of war snake. And... I am going to put that down here in the herbalism classroom. I'm going to try to put that down here in the herbalism classroom. All right. Um, we don't have alcohol, which was one of the things we were using for the Sylvan Elixir. All right. Do we have cheese, feather, and hat? We have hat. We have cheese, we have feather. All right. Feather, cheese, hat. Let's take this one. And that'll give us a sylvan elixir. And we don't have any more cheese, so... All right, nothing there. All right, shadow mana. Got to do the assassin's arena. I'm wondering at what level I should switch to building second classroom. Because at this point, it's... Wow, that efficiency is only plus 27%. Is this, there, is this teacher a problem? Not really. Huh. There's an animal in trouble. And... The king is already at 85%, so if we take him down another 83%, if we take him down another 15%, we'll lose our gain 20 gold each time you recruit a student. Who else can we visit? Um, let's visit the guild's tavern. Although we could visit the 
villagers and maybe get another refectory upgrade but um, let's go ahead and look at the adventurers guild all right the right hand of the guild's leader comes up to you to explain that she has recently sent a small squad to spy on the movements of the lord of evil's army together we can fight them so gain reputation lose reputation that's not so hot uh we're on the same team you wouldn't uh, happen to have some loot to share with us so we lose reputation with him get a little bit of gold <sighs> we get sleepy um, would you happen to have an artifact to share for your favorite university and again we lose reputation and we get to choose from three cards um, we're going to send some of our some old students as reinforcements so all right so that because we've trained three hero and three cons conscripted mages, and so push the Lord of Evil back 3%. So if you look up here, up at the top in that gauge, and boom, goes back. Oh, we've got some new students to hire as well. Arcane Staff, Elemental Dojo, Temporal Room. Uh, I think I'll go with the Elementalist Dojo. Alchemy. Ah, fish. Ooh, Elven Bow, that's good too. Uh, I'm going to get the fish and I'm going to put it in either the student hall. Oh, there's one here already. Oh. All right, well, we'll put it here in this student's hall. And. Seven, we can do that. Let's hire some more students. Hire. Enroll. Spend some gold, psychologist, teacher's lounge, refectory. <sighs> I'm going to go with teacher's lounge. Upgrade that. <sighs> All right, greenhouse it is. Guess we'll take the repentant bed, and these two beds are already upgraded. These two are not, so we'll do that one. Sparky's going to get a little bit of a surprise when he wakes up. Arcane. We already did that one. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go temporal room. We don't have an observatory up yet? All right, well, we got to fix that. Maybe we can put it on top of this library. Excellent versus appropriate. Relaxed and slow. Clumsy and greedy. Hawkeye and job lover. Inspiring. I'm going to go with the, the inspiring job lover. Got some new students coming in. And the orcs want to talk to us. We orcs don't need much, but what we need... He's very educated orc. But what we need... He went to Oxford. In England. On the other hand, uh, you could give us things directly. So, the alchemist option. We'll take care of that. Ooh, damn, there's a mosquito in here. I hate mosquitoes. Uh, another large phoenix. So would that give us two feathers? It doesn't help if... If you can't... Yeah. It's disappointing that you can't he, uh, revive a student during combat. Uh, we already have one phoenix. Should we do another one? 
I guess so, but I'm not quite sure where this would go. I guess here. Right, Assassin's Arena, of course. Another stable. Yeah, let's do another stable. Although that... I could put, uh, No, I can't put them out here. I could put one here. That's hilarious. I love it. Uh, excellent versus good. Relaxed, inspiring. Poser de Borla is a researcher. Um... So he creates mana as long as he's teaching. Yeah, man, but he's poser and he's demoralized. All right, let's just go with him. The guinea pig's ready again. The royal bastion is back up to 100%. So let's move this back 3%. Elementalist Dojo, I guess. Maybe I should build a new one. Oh, um, new students. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wasn't paying attention to see if any of them should have gone in the other class. Oh, all right, we have that. We have that. Let's upgrade this. Although I, I might should have. Upgraded that uh, teaching room. Greenhouse, of course. Yawn! Temporal room gazebo. Let's upgrade one of the gazebos. Why this one, I think? Shadow room, or maybe chains assassin. Oh, yeah, assassination arena. Assassin's arena. Coat of Arms Light Room. We'll take the Light Room. In the Light Room with Dark Curtains. I don't think that's how that goes. Library, Runic Scriptorium, or Infirmary. Hmm. Let's upgrade the Runic Scriptorium. Oh man, the yawns are coming hard and fast now. Talk to these parents. That should make me yawn. Let's see, we have a beautiful prison, so five prestige points, or Inquisition. Yeah, there's, yeah, we're already maxed out on reputation, so. White Dragon. Since we just put in a new stable, why not? Interdimensional room. Right, what do we got here? Do we have alcohol? No, but... Cheese feather hat. Cheese feather. We do have cheese feather hat. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, that, I think it put it in there. No, it didn't. Good, 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 good. Feather. There we go. 3,000. We can do that. Private apartments, weapons, and shield. Uh, I don't think this affects when you go on dungeon expeditions. <sighs> More students. Potion workshop. Pig chamber, dolmen, clan banner. Am I too sleepy to continue this? Um. Let's 
Let's go ahead and upgrade the dolmen. It's a little surprised we haven't had another chance to uh, get another expedition. All right, so magic th magical theory doctrine. Doctorate, so we're either going to go with Assassination Chamber or Retribution. Assassination is here. Ugh, there's a big yawn. And Retribution is here. So let's go with Retribution. Guinea Pig. King's still back to 100 again. All right, so push the Lord of Evil back. Another Phoenix, Celestial Fireflies, increases your mana gains from events by 25%. So I think that includes Dungeon Crawls. This is already maxed out. I don't want this. Oh, I don't know a good place to put it. I guess I could just put it anywhere. Why not there? Oh, got some graduates coming up. Elemental Summoner. Ooh, we got a chance at an Archmage. So, this is a pretty good student. You know, that's what happens when you manage to not die in a dungeon. Ah, oh, I hit accept again instead of reroll. Ah. Ah. I do need some sleep, don't I? War Leader Warlock. Um, Demon Hunter. Magic Prince, or Magician Prince, that's good enough. Assassin Scholar. Alright. Animal Archivist, I think. Nope. Librarian. Um, let's go ahead and keep it. Inquisition Blacksmith. That's pretty good, and it's two prestige. I think the Magician Prince is only one. I'm not really that worried about prestige at this point. Uh, we're doing pretty well. We're over 300. Uh, let's see if we can do better here. Uh, slightly. Well, taste. Really? That's the best you could do? What is this person's? Okay, not impressive. So, we'll go ahead and accept Royal Taster. Planeswalker. That's cool. We get two prestige for that. Planeswalker, you need five portal magic. Mm, yeah, we'll keep it. A serial killer. So, unfortunately, if you uh, have the evil alignment, which apparently we do here. Uh, no, we don't. Neutral and good. I thought if you didn't have the evil alignment that you couldn't be a serial killer. But I see now that's not how it works. It makes them evil. Well, they're a deep one, so we really don't want them to have this negative one prestige. There we go. Um, great Priest. Increase of Sacred Magic Learning. Uh, I think we'll accept that. Librarian. Well, then you shouldn't have been studying that if you didn't want to. I tell you these people. Cultist. Um, yeah, let's see if we can get something with Prestige. There we go. Minstrel, adventure, yeah, so maybe, hey, Clockwinder, good deal. Greet Priest, good chance at Greet Priest. Inquisitor or Bounty Hunter, so we got Bounty Hunter, let's just keep that. Oh, the yawns keep coming. Uh, I don't want any of these things. This is a pet, this is his, uh... Active characters in this room lose a bit of tiredness. Mm. I don't really want any of those. I'll upgrade the temporal room. I don't really have a place that I want to put a weapons rack. I'm just going to put it in the trash. Because I lack imagination or something. Same with these drums. Well, let's see. Yeah, these drums I will... I think I fell asleep for a moment there. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Light, medical bed, chamber of truth. We really need that. Mm hmm. I think we'll upgrade 
we already had, yeah, so let's upgrade the enchantment workshop. That's going to be on the first floor, ground floor. So sleepy. Oh, man, I don't want to call it quits. I mean, I figured we would finish this one tonight. Skull, Necro Staff, Janitor's Lodge. I think I'm going to go with the Janitor's Lodge. And, um, oh, we already have two? Go so we'll put that right there. Mediocre, excellent. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's just go with that. I don't want to think about it. All right, she... All right, so we'll upgrade the library. Oh, it's... God, I forgot. It's the wrong, wrong kind of library. Again, I forgot. Um, can I put it in the... Okay, I can put it in the assassination room. I cannot put it in the herbalism room. What was the other one? Herbalism, Assassination, and Retribution, which is right there. So this is the only one of the three I can put it in. There we go. New students. He's an arcane scholar. I'll just throw him up there. This one's chatty. Say bye-bye, werewolf. Uh, green bed, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Not right here. Oh, that's... Oh, what? Oh, it's for the janitor? That's the janitor's room? Let's put this one in here. Temporal room. Started to fall asleep again right there. Counselor's office, Millie Wings, Hourglass. Let's upgrade the counselor's office. Spend some gold. Private bedroom, alchemy room. Uh, I think alchemy room. Guinea pig's back. Maybe we can send the Lord of Evil back another 3%. Yeah, we're almost up to 100 again. Alchemy Apprentice, so we'll go up there. Huh. Observatory. didn't notice this mysterious blue or yeah mysterious blueprints can I put it hmm put it in here let's do that and root alcohol root alcohol hat so we have everything we need there I can line everything up. What am I missing? My brain's going fuzzy. Root alcohol hat. So we need the root. There we go. Made a big noise. <sighs> Potion workshop or library? I'm going to go with library and we'll upgrade that one. Upgrade one of these janitor lodges. Why not this one? Um, yeah, let's upgrade this. Do 
woman or stable or pig chamber let's go stable we'll put one here excellent versus excellent both unionized ground belly greedy poser hypochondriac wow they both suck so we'll go with this one because he has the erudite Got some new students. Aha! So she's going to give us the offer to push the Lord of Evil back. Another crystal ball. Counselor's office. Interdimensional room. Let's upgrade that. So we've got to let this gold continue to go up. New students. That, that, there's Chatty. Down to Earth. Mm -hmm. Another Chatty. A little Chatty vampire. Runic Scriptorum or Observatory or Library. I think I'm going to go with the Library. <sighs> I'm going to wait till the adventurers. Oh, let's see. Oh, this is not what I was expecting. The Demon Lord's Familiar. Greetings, Mage. During our last dungeon expedition, we killed a Demon Lord and found his cat. He's without an owner, and we can't bring ourselves to abandon him. Would you like to adopt it? I don't have the time to take care of it. All right, so if we say yes, it'll make a dry food budget. I'll make a dry food budget. All right, so we get the witch's cat. Uh, nope, something else happens. Maybe triggers new event. So let's just go ahead and take this darn cat. Greenhouse. And we can put that witch's cat up here. And visit the Royal Bastion, 94, so 15. This just takes us down to 80, so we'll still be fine. And I'm kind of curious how fast this is moving now. Oh, it's moving pretty fast. We're, we're almost done here. And we didn't get another offer to go on a dungeon crawl, so a little disappointed there. Uh, and we are not getting... It looks like we're not going to graduate any Blade Masters. So we're not going to get our three stars, which means we're not going to get a legendary book here. Gift from the Minstrel. This man is truly awesome. Small egg given to you by the Cloud Sphinxes. Take care of it. Otherwise, they'll come at you with riddles. Um, magical teapot that summons gin. The frog must be from the marsh. There's a yak from the monks. Okay, they decorated this a little more. Uh, also, since there's only room for one more book, I think that means that our next... Um, map location has to be the turtle. I think that's what that means. All right. Let's just use some of these. And we got a sacred elixir for light mana. Truth chain. Oh, priesthood. Um... Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the Truth Chamber. Private Bedroom, Teacher Lounge. So, upgrade this one. I guess I could upgrade this one. Whatever. New students. Chatty. Change janitor to lodge crypt. We'll upgrade the crypt. We'll get these birds and put them up in the upper gazebo.
since they help recover sanity and the gazebo helps recover sanity and boredom. Oh, we could get cheese, finally. Um, Hero's Chamber or Angel Wings? Um, I'm actually going to go with the Angel Wings because I'm hoping it'll help with... Um, that's not what I wanted. What am I looking for? Stats? Yeah. Archangel Wings... They're going to generate 125% more light mana. Um, yeah. I'm just looking for a way to get students to learn faster. Another stable. I think I'll upgrade one of the stables we have. Why not this one? I wonder what this does. Look what I could do. Another prestige bonus. I don't want any of these things. All right, so I guess Hero's Chapel would be not too bad. Um, no, I'll skip that. Shadow Crypt. Um, yeah, I'm not worried about that right now. Crypt. It's the Crypt Keeper. Mausoleum. Bad students or evil students have a, chan a strong chance of gaining the Shadow Disciple trait. Let's go ahead and grab that. Guinea Pig's back. The King is right about where he was last time. So let's go ahead and do another pushback. Orcs want to talk to us. Elementalist Dojo. Hmm, tough one. We're hungry, so can I give you some waffles? Graduation time. Bat breeder! You need to be a vampire. Two beast magic, one elementalism. And we got vampire count up there. Um, do you have to be a vampire for this? Yeah, you do. So let's see. Oh man. Oh, we can reroll again. And Animal Archivist. So that's pretty cool. Blade Master! We got one! I think we need to get three, but we got one. So that is something. All right. So this is the most important thing right here Blade Master. Three in assassination. I, did I look this up before? I don't know. Oh, we're foregoing Archmage. Uh, so anyway, Assassination 3, Herbalism 2, and Retribution 2. So that's not too hard to get. But, yeah, we, I th we still want to crank those classrooms up so students can spend, you know, they'll get farther with less time. And let's see this file here. So we've got two here. Uh, this is a pretty good student. I've, this is pretty good. We got three classes, four classes with zero progress, but that's that's still pretty good. So let's accept this fate. Blade Master. Another Blade Master. Nice. And Minstrel. Librarian's not too bad. Magic Teacher's not too bad. Oh, we can got a chance at Archmage here. And I can't reroll again, so we'll go with Bounty Hunter. Village Guardian. Cultist, uh, Shinobi, uh, let's see what we get on the reroll, Scholar, Librarian, Pack Leader, let's just go ahead and accept that, here's another Librarian, could go for Scholar, Cultist, uh, we'll try, we got Scholar, Magician Prince, there we got that, Librarian or in Innkeeper, I wouldn't mind having innkeeper so students eat faster. Yeah, librarian's not too bad. Mm, wizard apprentice, cultist, warlock, skull. Let's try for better. Cultist, all right. And again, you need 14 levels and be a deep folk. All right, new students. Mm. 
another manivore snake. I think that's what we're going to take. And now the assassin chamber is on this level. And the retribution is on this level. So we'll put the manivore snake ah, here. And that will improve the efficiency of all rooms on the snake's level. Get on my level. So that will include this assassination arena. Assassin's arena. All right, we'll upgrade the demonic chamber. And I think we can spend a little gold here. Private apartments, refectory, or dormitory. Let's upgrade one of the dormitories. This one, since it gets the most use. More light mana, trophy room, flower crown, hero's chapel. I think I will get this trophy room. I'm not quite sure where to throw it. We could put it, could we put it here? put it here then the dormitory this stable and the jail have the chance for more efficiency if we go here um, Yeah, I think I will go, well, this wouldn't be too bad either, but, or here. Put another trophy room here that, does that make this trophy room more efficient? I don't think that's as important. Let's go ahead and put the trophy room over here. We will put this side crystal in here. Oh, I think I've got enough room for pets that I can put the drooler in here now. This is one of the new songs. I'm sure we've heard it during today's playthrough. Oh, Mentor. Uh, I just hadn't noticed it until now. Permanently improves a teacher. The teacher's pedagogy becomes level excellent, and they gain three random positive traits. That's pretty good, but I don't want that for um, my... Uh, Retribution uh, teacher. All right, so let's upgrade the Runic Scriptorum. Should be down here somewhere. Yes. And let's get that in there. All right, we've got some more students available. Uh, let's do the interdimensional room. Demonic Chamber, Janitor Lodge. Uh, and we'll do the Demonic Chamber. That was a tough call right there. And new students. Mm, this, that actually sounds like a popular song that they kind of, this one's chatty, that they kind of remade into more of a uh, medieval Renaissance type sound. Okay. We've got cheese. What do we need for this again? Cheese feather hat. Do we have we have cheese feather hat? All right, cheese feather hat. Guinea pigs back. Oh, the army of darkness has arrived. No, we didn't get our third blade master. And the guinea pig just showed up. So well, ah, it wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't have mattered if I had gotten to the guinea pig faster push that back three percent it's probably moving so fast that it wouldn't have had time for another graduation highly unlikely all right so we're not going to get our legendary spell book quick diplomas and oh we could get it oh maybe we can maybe we can still oh fingers crossed um, this is a deep one. Well, it's too late to push the Lord of Evil back, so prestige doesn't matter now. Uh, I'm going to 
Why do I care if it's an Archmage then? Uh, because I do. Nice! Alright, Planewalker. Here's another Archmage. I'm just gonna accept the... Am I? Am I gonna do that? No, it's... Okay, there we go. Archmage. Blademaster! Yes! So, we got our... I don't... I hope it counts. I hope it counts. Um, the star is not visible now. Uh, I'm just gonna do automated for the rest. But Shadowbinder, that's pretty cool. And we got our third star. Goodbye. This is... And it shows we got a legendary spell book. All right, that's nice. So we only did uh, two dungeon expeditions. We did get our legendary spell book by the skin of our teeth. Whew, goodness. Yeah, someone was uh, telling me in the YouTube comments, let me look that up, that they had done this uh, cliffs level. That's the wrong thing. And they had barely gotten the 90 uh, reputation with the pirates. Oops. The first piece of text from the monks actually wasn't a grammar error. It's just a weird sentence, but it's correct. I'll have to well, maybe use the local map to communicate with the monks. And All right, well, that's different. So, uh, Drekin84, if you're watching, um, thanks for the uh, YouTube subscription. What was I looking for here? Actually found the phoenix. Nope. Oh, it it was Drekon eighty four or Drekon, uh, who had said I played this one today. Managed to get my pirate reputation to ninety just seconds before my university got destroyed. Managed to get two stars by the skin of my teeth. Whew. So, we got three three stars by the skin of our teeth. That was uh, that was kind of amazing. I just got through complaining that I didn't get it, and then I got it. So that's that's pretty nice. All right, taking a quick look here. Um, Twenty six librarians. Um, that's weird because it's scrolling out as it's scrolling down. Um, and we, we actually got four blade masters uh, during that automated graduation. Yeah, and I. Don't know how to read all this. Uh, what else do we get here? Trains 220 students, 13 years of school, 506 prestige. So I don't know why that's 457. Maybe it doesn't go up in that final graduation. Or maybe we lost prestige points along the way too. But 56 of them? Hmm, strange. Uh, average reputation, 29. Guinea pig sent, 24. Drawn cards, 286 cards. We had, uh, wow, arcane mana was definitely our, our biggest one at 88,000 and 38,000 gold. Why do I keep hearing, like, money? Uh, what, what's this? Vampire Count and Bloodlord. What is a Bloodlord? Huh. Now I want to know what a blood lord is. So let's end game. Uh, is it gonna lock up? So it looks like we can. Okay, now it's showing that we got three stars in the desert and three stars in the village, but we got more than. And we just got three stars on the cliff, so it's not showing that. It might be because. Uh, the original save on this game was prior to version 1.0. I'm guessing that has been a problem for them in the past. So we can go to the turtle, and that's the only place we can go. So that's what we'll be doing next time. The turtle. Well, I'm just going to say the usual crap. If you're on YouTube, feel free to subscribe, leave a comment, um, correct to me for my bad grammar corrections. <laughs> Thanks, Drek. Drekken. Um, what else we got here? You can like, you can subscribe, leave a comment, share a link, let other people know that if this is the kind of thing you're looking for, this is uh, where to find it. After I finish the turtle, um, would anybody be interested in starting over redoing the village or any of the other map locations because i don't know it feels kind of weird starting over
but it could definitely be done. Other than that, uh, what what other game was I thinking about doing next? Mm, I've actually forgotten. Let's do... Actually, let's go here. And then we can bring up that display. So, and... I'm not really interested in doing the VR. One of the bad things about VR is I don't have a way to read the chat or even know if I'm getting... I guess I can get a little... No, I don't even get a chime when I get chat. So, like tonight, there wasn't any chat, you know, because it's the middle of the night. Um, so, no one's... Is anyone even watching on Twitch? Um... doesn't oh watch now with two viewers so yeah hey lurkers let's see it's not a derogatory term but spellcaster university i don't know some of the one of the things i was thinking about i i thought i would like this birthday at the beginning it's just wasn't that great oh call of the sea I'm thinking about doing call of the sea and then I can't remember the name of that other one that's sort of like uh, sort of an archaeology. I can never remember the name of it. I always get it wrong when I try to guess. Mm. But I thought it was down here more. Ah, well, you remember me mentioning it at the end of a previous uh, video. Nino Kuni. We could play that. It's it's like watching a, a Studio Ghibli movie with uh, intermittent fighting. <laughs> Never alone. Never alone is kind of interesting. Sort of a Inuit legend made into a game, if I understand correctly. Didn't really like Long Journey Home that much. Not a bad game, just not really for me. Gris is beautiful, but it's it's kind of a platformer. Um, I'm not sure I'm that interested in it. I thought I would be, but then I watched some more gameplay from other people. I don't know. And, oh, Vault, uh, Heaven's Vault. This one with the uh, holographic robot. And she's trying to uh, decipher ancient, ancient petroglyphs. It seems kind of good, or interesting anyway. A little bit of a puzzler. Um sort of a adventure progressive and then oh what was the other thing uh there was a couple that i just saw every time this uh, secret of mana goes on sale it's twenty dollars so half off and i just i'm never quite in a position to pay the money and um i'm not sure it belongs on my wish list anymore i would almost rather play the original game even with the uh the bad Nintendo 16 uh, Super Nintendo graphics. I don't know why I still have this on my wish list. It's uh, I have a video of playing this. It, it was not great. It's kind of a racing game. A little bit of RPG, but basically you, you just want to keep improving your race times uh, riding a horse. I don't know. I, I think it's probably a single developer, one person uh, developing the game, so that's all right. Last Campfire, uh, we already did that one. It's just not available on Steam yet. We got it on Epic, I think. Epic CAC. Let's see, Stranded Deep. So these are games I haven't bought uh, other than that one. And this Idle Manager seems kind of interesting. I'm curious if it... It probably whitewashes the whole idea of taking um, young people, making stars out of them, and making and working them to death. Um, but it would be interesting to see if it actually shows how taxing, you know, that kind of lifestyle can be. Uh, this is more for Rosen, my wife. I still haven't gotten that. This uh, sort of Legends Online looks kind of good. Sort of a, a little bit of a 
airy what was that one movie oh i can't think of it now where the the monk and the uh the dragon kind of have a romance and then he locks her in a tower at the end um but any it's yeah it's it's pretty and it seems like it's an okay mmo i'm not entirely sure but you know, I'm, I'm definitely not 40 dollars sure but this cozy grove looks really good and i've been watching some of the play on this little witch in the woods not available yet but it seems like it might be fun it's hard to say it seems like it's going to work a lot like um secret of mana or chrono trigger you know in that you know retracing old steps but finding a new thing along the way but this cozy grove seems like it could be kind of good I'm, I'm tempted to get that but i'll probably go with heaven's uh was it Heaven's Gate? Is that what that was called? Wasn't there a cult called Heaven's Gate? Heaven's Vault. <laughs> That's that. Yeah, that was different. Uh, so Heaven's Vault or Call of the Sea seem like uh, more likely follow-ups. You know, that or World of Tanks. Or what's the other one I've been playing? Uh, Fallout 76, but not that popular. So those games I'll continue to play. But apparently you guys don't want to see it, so why should I bother? Why should I force that on you? So maybe one of these two games next, unless someone's got a better suggestion. I am open. All right, well, we already talked about what you can do on YouTube. You can also help the channel out by uh, joining Patreon. If you do, send me a message, possibly on Discord, possibly in the comments, to let me know, hey, I joined on Patreon, so that I can thank you. Because I don't check that that often. I I kind of stopped checking and then I went to look at it and then realized, oh, they changed it and now it's not entirely set up anymore. So maybe that's why no one joined it. It's not the most likely reason, but it's a possibility. Um, also, you can use the tip link, which is in the description. It's also on the about page on Twitch. Tip anytime, night or day. The show doesn't have to be live. Still goes through and you'll get a thank you on the next show. Mm, also on Twitch, same things, but you can also subscribe on Twitch. Uh, it's a little more uh, than it is on YouTube, but the option is there. Also on Twitch, you can follow and share a link. Let someone know, here we are. All right, so until next time. Oh, I dropped my hat. So no sorcerer's hat for me. Appreciate you guys being here. Hope to see you next time. Next to time? Next time, because it's always more fun when you're here. Until then, be well. That almost looked like a Nazi salute. I apologize. It was not intended to. Not a dog whistle. Now I'm blathering.